formal charge. This is going to be a nice application that we use with Lewis dot structures. Uh, really what the formal charge does is it um, allows us to make a best guess of when you have an ion, uh, where that electron was added, or if it's a positive, a cation, where the electron was removed. We use formal charge in addition to our understanding of electronegativity to make a best guess, uh, a guess of um, electron density, of where the electrons um, have, have been added or where they've been removed. So here's your formula. Now interesting, I've seen formal charge the last two years on the AP FRQs, and here's the deal. This formula is not on the AP reference sheet, so memorize this, okay? Um, and if you're in a different college class or a high school class, ask your teacher if you'll be given this. If you're not given this, memorize it, memorize it. So here it is, SC stands for the formal charge. So where is the electron added or where is the electron removed? From which atom in the molecule? VE is valence electrons for the atom. LPE is lone pair electrons. So you're not counting the pairs, you're actually counting how many electrons exist in lone pairs. So if I see one lone pair, I put down two electrons in that lone pair. Um, and then bonding electrons, this is the number of electrons in the bond. So if I see a single bond, I write down two electrons. There's two electrons in a single bond. If I see a double bond, I write down four electrons. There's four electrons in that double bond. And it's one half times the double bond. So I have two examples for you here. Let's go ahead and do a cyanide ion. Kind of, uh, we're living on the dangerous side using cyanide. Okay, so our uh, Lewis dot structure, carbon has four valence electrons. We're going to share three electrons with the nitrogen. Nitrogen has five valence electrons. So nitrogen shared one, two, three. There's four, five. Um, carbon had one, two, three. Here's number four. I'm going to put that extra electron right there on the carbon. So there is the Lewis dot structure. Put it in brackets with the negative on the outside because it's an ion. Now, we are asking ourselves, well, where did that extra electron, honestly, where did it really go? Now, if I'm thinking electronegativity, I would guess nitrogen because nitrogen is more electronegative. But let's see what formal charge has to show us. So we are going to do the formal charge of carbon. So notice I do subscript C. You have to do the formal charge for every atom. Now a little side note, if you have two atoms that are identical, same bonds, you only have to do the formal charge for one of them. Say that I had like a carbonate, let me show you this really quick. A carbonate like that, I could do the formal charge for the single bonded oxygen and it will be identical for that single bonded oxygen. Um, or if I'm doing formal charge on H2O like this, um, each of those hydrogens have the same bond. They're going to have the same formal charge. So you have to do every atom that's unique. If you have an atom that's identical, same bonds, you only have to do the formal charge once. Okay, so formal charge for carbon. Carbon has four valence electrons minus, okay, so I'm looking at the carbon. There's one lone pair, which mean there's, means there's two lone pair electrons, plus one half times there's two, four, six bonding electrons. So yeah, it's a triple bond, but there's six electrons inside of that. Remember, every bond contains two electrons. Um, so then we do our math. We're going to, need to have three plus two is five. Four minus five gives me the minus one. Okay, let's do the formal charge for nitrogen. Equals, okay, we've got five valence electrons for nitrogen minus there's one lone pair, so two electrons are in that lone pair, plus one half times two, four, six electrons in the bonded, in the bonds. Do this math, three plus two is five, five minus five is zero. So using our formal charge, I would predict that the electron, the extra electron attached to the carbon. Let's do a hydroxide now, so OH minus. Let's go ahead and write out our Lewis dot structure. Um, so we're going to have a single bond with hydrogen. Uh, shared an electron has a full uh, energy level for hydrogen. Oxygen shared one electron, six valence electrons. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now the oxygen only senses two, four, six, seven. So I'm going to put that extra electron right there on the oxygen. Go ahead and put that in brackets with the minus sign because it's an ion. So let's do the formal charge for the oxygen and for the hydrogen. So formal charge 
for oxygen. I saw I drew that subscript O. Um, oxygen's valence electrons, six, minus, um, looking at lone pair electrons, there's two, four, six lone pair electrons. Again, there's three pairs, three lone pairs, but there's six electrons in those lone pairs. My, oh, excuse me, plus one half times, I've got one bond and there's two electrons. So you're always looking at electrons. Look at all those E's, valence electrons, lone pair electrons, bonding electrons. You're counting number of electrons. Um, so we're going to have one half times two is one, plus six is seven, six minus seven minus one. Okay, let's do the formal charge for hydrogen. Um, we have one valence electron minus, there are zero lone pair electrons plus one half times, there's only a single bond, so there's two electrons, two electrons. One half times two is one plus zero is one, one minus one is zero. Now a little side note, when you add up formal charges from all of your atoms, minus one plus zero is minus one, over here minus one plus zero is minus one, the sum of all of the formal charges will be the net charge on the molecule, on that polyatomic ion. Um, and you could do formal charge for atoms that aren't ions, um, but the net charges will all equal at that point zero because they're, they're neutral if they don't have a charge. Um, so if I were to um, extend this, I would predict based on formal charge that that extra electron attaches to the oxygen. So there you have a formal charge, an application, something that we apply and use with Lewis dot structures predicting where electrons um, add or are taken away. Okay, nice job, thank you.